and welcome to Dommy Tries This, and welcome to my birthday bash. This month, on October 5th, I turned 55, so we have a lot of fives going on. Yes, we've got, the, the five is getting eaten down by the candle, by the flame there, but that's okay. This was the only cupcake I could find at the store I went to. Their entire bakery section was just wiped out. This was it. It's huge, huge but it's all mine. Happy birthday to me. There we go. And we're just going to be opening birthday presents, most of which I purchased. But I used a lot of company discounts and I had a card that I earned. And so almost all of this stuff that I picked up is um, discounted heavily or free. Free is always good, but first birthday gift I'm going to show you is the coffee mug of the day, which says, Kiss Today Hello. This is from my oldest daughter, and today's tea is the Tarot and Tea Box Tea that is says it is the Six of Swords Tea, mixed in with my white chocolate mocha. Um, kind of wanted chocolate, but I kind of wanted to try this. Don't know if the two will mix. Let's find out. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Yes, I'm going to mix those more often. I like that. Mm, 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 mm. You get the chocolate from the uh, white chocolate mocha. And this has uh, cardamom and uh, cinnamon and cloves and red rubios, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And you get those spices in there. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful tea. Mm. Okay. Anyway, I was going to have music playing to start. I mean, it is my birthday. We should have a birthday song, right? However, I couldn't find one I liked. So, no birthday song, which is fine. And you you guys don't need to hear me singing again. You've heard me once. Once was more than enough. Speaking of that, um, I have contacted and had our my uh, winners reply to me. I am actually going to do that in a separate video because there's some things I need to discuss about that happened with that particular um, giveaway, a YouTube issue, but we will talk about that at a later date. So today we're just going to focus on the happy things and my birthday and the pile of boxes that I have here and a few birthday gifts. I'm going to pick this one up. Um, my middle dollar daughter, dollar. I can talk. I swear. My middle daughter got me this Violet Voss, the rainbow palette. It's one of the palettes I've been wanting for a while. It's a gorgeous palette. I do believe I have shown it previously. I have obviously, I have used it. It has become a favorite palette for the year. Um, so it's probably going to show up in my favorites. I love it. Um, one of Violet Voss's better ones and Violet Voss has some pretty good palettes. So far they only have one palette that I really haven't liked, but that was from my middle daughter. This was from my oldest daughter and this came from Hazel. I have no idea how I'm going to get this thing open. She wrapped this thing pretty damn good. She was going to send me something that I wanted and she decided to add some bonuses. So I decided it was going to go into the birthday haul. So thank you, Hazel, for everything. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm trying to open it without damaging anything. Damn, girl. It's opening up now. Nope, going to have to cut it some more. Holy cow, Hazel. And, of course, it's in another box, package. In bubble wrap. All righty. Oh, we got some things in here. So first we have... Let's see if I can find... Goodness. So first we have a Pro Shadow Single from Clio. Never heard of that brand. I'm gonna open this up. This is gonna be a long video. I'm warning you all now. There's a lot of boxes. This is gonna, oh, wow, that's a beautiful color. Look at that color. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow, nice and shimmery. That's 
beautiful. Looks a little light, but I have found that things that look a little light on the hand don't necessarily mean light on the eye. That is beautiful. Thank you. What else do we have in here? Oh, I don't even know what this is. What is this? I don't know what this is. Did you clear the list, Hazel? That list might have been helpful. Oh, it's blotting papers. I've never had blotting papers. I think it's blotting papers. They're very thick. It's a, unless they're just not coming apart. There's three of them. I will have to ask her to be more to be more sure what they are, but I will ask her about those and find out what they are. Um, because apparently there's things in the makeup world that I don't know about. Um, yes, I'm a bit of doofus. And she sent me the NARS blush in Orgasm. This is a blush that we had. she had sent a sample to my daughter, um, a little cardboard sample. And this is what she decided to go ahead and send to me. We had talked about it. And it's a beautiful light. I think I've had this one before. I'm not getting much color on there, but I bet you I will on my cheeks when I use it because I've had something similar to this before. So thank you for that. And then we have, what is this? This is Vanille Blackberry. Oh, this is a perfume. Uh, and it's a spray bottle. Okay, so I'm sorry, Hazel. I don't do perfumes. I don't do sprays. They tend to uh, aggravate my allergies. Hazel is new to my uh, channel, so she probably didn't know that. So I will probably give this to one of my daughters, and um, they will enjoy that. So it won't go out of the family, hopefully. But, um, yeah, I can't use perfumes, spray perfumes. I haven't tried roller balls yet. That's something I want to try. And last but not least, she sent me a three-pan palette for me to put stuff in. That's pretty cool. That's beautiful. This is from, uh, this is the Artist Palette. Amplified, bold, inspired. So I guess Artist Palette is the name of the company, but that's pretty cool too. Thank you, Hazel. Such pretty gifts. I appreciate it a lot. I really, really do. And she also sent along. Yes. We should have a few of those. Woo. <laughs> I'm a little weird. Okay. Moving on with stuff around. There we go. Now it looks more like a birthday. What do you all think? My little thing says you are a star. Like I said, most of these I got either um, at a discount or were part of a birthday thing that I was already going to order. Um, a couple of them are something different, like this one from Vanessa's Vanity. Vanessa's Vanity had um, mystery boxes, so I thought that that was perfect for a birthday. This is supposed to have at least $50 worth of uh, product in it. I don't know what's in here. I don't know any colors. I've been following uh, Vanessa's Vanity on um, Instagram, and some of the stuff that she shows is just, oh, her highlighters are gorgeous. I'm going to sit here with crap all over my head all the time. Okay, Vanessa's Vanity, she sent a little card, says, thank you, enjoy 15% off your next purchase, and she has a code for me there. Thank you, your mystery content value is $61. Thank you. Let's take a look at what we have here. Looks like I got a bunch of little singles in here. And I'm going to have to open them to see what the colors are. So, one, two, three, four, five of these. So, this is... Vintage Champagne. That's beautiful. I put that on the wrong finger, but that's okay. Yeah, it's gorgeous. She put them with the colors facing out. I mean, the, the name of the color. I'm going to have to keep putting them back in. I don't want to lose them. And I have a new palette I can put them in. Ah, 
yeah, I don't even have to do this. I don't. I can put them in my new palette. Not the little one. Remember on my sample opening? I got a new palette. So now I got something to put them in. I still have stuff everywhere. Still have stuff everywhere. All right, so we'll put our champagne in there. Hello. So that was vintage champagne. Next we have Auburn Sunrise. That sounds like a pretty color. Are we ready to see it? Ooh. That's pretty too. Wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. It's kind of a pinky orange. It's beautiful. Then we have Electricity. This is a bigger pan. So this might be one of her highlighters. Yes, this is one of her highlighters. Look at that, that's electricity. Oh, it has a shift. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then we have Athena. I love the patterning. So there's Athena. is kind of a silvery oh that's beautiful and then we have this one is sweet angelique so here we have sweet angelique oh, wow wow look at that that's beautiful that's a gorgeous pink oh wow I expect that these can be used as highlighters or as eyeshadows. They're beautiful. And then she also sent a little package with two loose powders, two loose pigment things. So let's take a look at these. This one is a lavender flame. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I'm taking biotin for my hair mostly, but my nails have gone a bit nuts. So there's Lavender Flame. And we'll put that over there. It's a bit on the light side, but it's a lavender, so that makes sense. And this is Angel's Wings, Angel Wings, which of course is a white. It's a glittery white. I love that she has the little um, sifters in there. I hate loose pigments without sifters. Yes, it's a shiny little white. And you're not going to be able to see much. It really is just kind of a, a white. And grab some of that. Ooh, wow. Okay, close that up. And there's angel wings. Beautiful, can't wait to play with them. Really can't wait to play with them. They're all safely nestled in my ColourPop that I bought the other day. I'm gonna get a wipe out and then come back and open the next box. I look like a ridiculous wreck. But anyway, be right back. I actually had those wipes nearby. I just hadn't, didn't have one pulled out. So grabbing another box, this one is from NYX Cosmetics. This is one of the ones that gave me a birthday discount on my order. Um, and they, they usually include something else. Now, here's the interesting thing. I think I've told you guys that I have like a five-minute memory lifespan. Seriously, if I'm lucky. <laughs> and that's for important things. For things that aren't important, forget it. So, most of this stuff has been sitting here for a couple of weeks. Um, and I don't remember what I got I honestly don't remember what I picked up. So let's see what we got in here. Of course we got that. And we've got bubble wrap. And they put everything in their thing. And, ah, no stickers. Maybe the stickers are inside the bag. I love the fact that they include these lace bags. They're really neat. Anyway. Okay, so they sent me... 
This is a makeup bag. I remember getting this makeup bag once before. I ended up giving it to one of my daughters. I can keep it this time. It's part of my birthday stuff. So it says, I never met a lipstick I don't like. And this is part of their rewards program. And then I had ordered a palette. And I ordered the Midnight Chaos. Like I said, this came with um, a discount and it is pretty well sealed. So there's the Midnight Chaos. And there is the palette without the lid on top. The colors are gorgeous. I've seen some beautiful looks done with this. All right, so our first row with all the shimmery glitters. Oh, some of these are not performing as well as I'd hoped. Well, that one did. Okay, so that was the top row. Eh, we'll have to see how they do when they actually get used. The next row has four mattes and one shimmer. Okay. Well, I have to say this is not one of NYX's better palettes, at least by swatching, but I did have a, a couple small sample palettes that I bought that um, I believe that I've already reviewed that swatched terribly. I mean, less color than this, and they did fantastic on the eyes. So hopefully these will do fantastic on the eyes. But it's a beautiful palette, and if I can get it to work, I will let you all know. And uh, so that was from my NYX birthday present. Sephora. So for Sephora, what I did is instead of getting one of their actual little birthday um, packages, I went and I picked up points. I got 250 points. They had the option for 250 points. And I used those to get stuff along with, um, I think I ordered something that I'd been wanting or needing. I can't remember, I swear. I have the memory of a sieve. It's terrible. So I don't know what I ordered for this, but I do know that I used some of that 250 points to get a few things. I don't mind getting small samples for my birthday. Okay, so. That's right. So the, one, the major thing that I wanted to try that I ordered was... No oh, way. <laughs> is the Diva Curl Leave-In... Miracle Curl Plumper. I want to give this a try and see if I can get a little bit more volume in my hair. My curl was being a little funky today. I was really upset that it wouldn't cooperate, but I'm really eager to try this. I have tried a uh, leave-in, I can't remember what it's called, but it's uh, their leave-in decadence. Um, I really enjoyed that. I just can't afford $20 a bottle, um, but I'm going to give this a try. And then the rest of it's all samples and stuff that I got with my points. So, um, oh, actually, this one I might have bought on sale. So, here we have their uh, Sephora Colorful Gloss Balm. I buy a lot of, when I go to, when I buy stuff online at Sephora, I really often try to make sure I have points, discounts. Um, I probably also used a, uh, I, I'm part of Shopkick, so I probably also used a card from Shopkick. And I have gotten a lot of cards from Shopkick. I really, really have. I have truly enjoyed using that app. I always, I always get the Sephora cards with the shop kick too. So Sephora didn't really want that to come loose, but that's what that looks like. And it is like a, a lip balm. There's the color right there. That's pretty. That's very pretty. I'm looking forward to using that. That's beautiful. I also have... Oh, funny. Um, I already have one of these. It's... I've been using it. I'm going to eventually review it. This is the um, Youth to the People Kale and Spinach Green Tree Hyaluronic Acid Age Prevention Moisture Cream. I've been using it at night. Yes. Um... It's okay cream. It actually has enough 
to deal with my skin right now because we're in the middle of winter. So things are getting a little drier and my skin usually needs a little bit more help. But there's that. Like I said, I already got one and I'm using it and I'm enjoying it. It's, it's not blowing me away, but it's pretty good. I got a Clinique Acne Solutions a Clearing Gel. Probably should give this to my daughter. She's been having some issues lately. But I've had a couple of friends move in the last couple of days as well. So, oh, that's tiny, but that's what that looks like. You know, you get these point perks and they're insanely small. Uh, this is a Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream Lipstick. I had one of these before. I ended up getting rid of it because it broke. But, and this is in the color... That's right, they don't na give name colors. This is C211. Let's see what C211 looks like. It's kind of a nude. Uh, I'm not going to swatch it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I'm going to keep that in the box and decide what I'm going to do with that because it's kind of a nude. I don't, I don't wear too many nudes. I like colors like this. And then I got some samples. I got the Sephora uh, Mud Mask, the Purifying Mattifying Mask. I got a Belief, tr the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I like the Aqua Bomb. And I got a Grande Lips Hydra Plump uh, Liquid Lipstick. Their Lip Plumper stuff. So... That's from Sephora with all the little samples. Uh, my understanding is, from what I've seen and from what I've heard from other people, you no longer get three set samples with every order. You get two, which is really disappointing. Um, I may end up having to switch over to Ulta at some point. I've avoided Ulta because a lot of people have talked about having issues with Ulta. Anyway, going to grab this box at my feet. Everything else is off to the side. Okay, so this is from a curl box. This is one of their non-subscription boxes and they actually had another one come out that I wanted to try and I haven't ordered so I'm being good I'm being good I really wanted to try it so oh this is actually the one I was thinking of ah, told you I order things and I forget what they are good thing it went out because I would have reordered something so this is the cream of nature uh, line that I'm going to give a try we have the Akai Berry and Keratin Strengthening Hair Mask, and I've got to admit that this is the one that um, actually intrigued me the most. We have the Akai Berry and Keratin Strengthening Shampoo. The Coconut Milk Shine and Hold Control Glue. Um, I have a gel from... Um, well, I can show it to you. Uh, Shea Moisture that I've been playing with. It is a very loose gel. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm still playing around with it. But I tried it with my curl formers and it really didn't help hold the curl formers. <laughs> my hat's about to fall off too, I think. Um, so I'm going to give this a try as well. And then finally in the box is the uh, Coconut Milk Moisture Curl Hair Milk. And I have discovered that I do like milks. Um, I like my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Milk, so I'm really willing to get eager to give this a try. These four products cost me about $15 and probably are $20 or more total. I'd have to look them up. Um, Curlbox doesn't give like, usually doesn't give like huge discounts, but you usually get a reasonable amount of product and do get at least five dollars to ten dollars off of the stuff that you're buying so I will list these below with the cost my hat is definitely falling off it has to do with the way I put it on though so there there my hat's back this one is from diva diva curl diva curl has it may still be going on right now diva curl had a special going on where you could get so many uh, sample they're like the travel sample size products for about $20 and this was the one that I really wanted to try everything from I am trying a couple things in um, the foil pack things um, but yeah if I can get it in uh, whoa okay guys this big box or this little package the rest of it was bubble wrap but that's fine. 
So these are all like travel sizes or anything like that. But if I can get little samples of Diva Curl, I'll hold on. I'll, I'll take it because the, these bottles run $20 or more. So this is the Diva Curl Make Em Jealous Light Defining Gel. Then we have the No Curl Left Behind Styling Cream. And we have the One Condition Original Daily Cream Conditioner. I have a foil pack of their new, new one. I have two foil packs of it. And we have Never Shampoo Again No Poo. I actually tried this last night from one of my foil packs. I think I like it as a kind of a clarifying cleaner, you know, once or twice a month. So those are what I picked up from Diva Curl to give a try. Four little products. Those are decent sizes. I'm real happy with that. That's $5 a piece. When you consider their larger sizes run 18 to 25 dollars or more those are that's a pretty good deal i mean this one right here this one was twenty dollars so happy so i have two hush boxes i'm gonna go ahead and open this first one now one of these i purchased with a card that i earned on pine cone i haven't been getting any pine cone stuff lately i don't know why um it's quite possible that uh i, I joined another one too to earn uh, gift cards and stuff. So I may end up not using the other one and going back to Pinecone because now Pinecone goes to PayPal. Um, but basically, Hush does not charge tax and does not charge shipping as you use the app. So I had an $18 card. I used my $18 card there and got exactly what I wanted for $18. So yes, this is the one I got, used my $18 card for. This is a palette that I've had my eye on for a while. It's the Face Candy Vice. My other two, yes, my other two face candy palettes have blown me away. Now, this is an earlier palette, and I have heard it can be kind of patchy, um, but I'm willing to play with it if I can get the damn thing open. There we go. I love this packaging. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, it comes with a nice little mirror. There's the colors. And you all know I got it for those purples, right? I know you know that. Let me get rid of the um, NYX on my arm here. That balm came right off with the wipe. First row is, whoa, flying away. I have stuff flying away. I told you I don't have room for all this shit. Um, we have... Miami, the Keys, and Winter. So Miami, which is the light purple, the Keys, and Winter. They feel a little more powdery, but I'll be honest. I think the, um, was it Atlantis? I think it was Atlantis. Feels a little powdery too, and it's beautiful colors. All right, so these are a little bit less pigmented than the ones that I'm used to from Face Candy. As I've noted, this is an older palette. You can't even tell those two apart, but that's a matte lavender and that's uh, something else. Kind of a, it's one of my colors actually that I like to use under my brow. It's kind of a, a, sh a shimmery kind of pink. Next we have Get Down, Kingpin, and Purple Palms. Get Down, Kingpin, and Purple Palms. Oh, those look nice. If those work for me, I'll be happy. Those are pretty. I had the same problems with uh, the flaking from the um, Atlantis palette, and it's a beautiful palette. Okay, so I'm already looking forward to playing with this. All right, last line. This last line, I probably won't play with that much. It's got browns. Hit me, undercover, and bust. Bust in the um, uh, pictures I've seen looks kind of green, but here it does. It looks gray. Hit me, undercover, and bust. Let's put the little thing in. There we go. Hit me, 
undercover and bust. Um, yeah, I'm not impressed with those colors. That one, if I can get it to work, I might be. But the grays, I'm not too sure about. But the rest of it, I'm I'm pretty happy with. Honestly, when I look at palettes now, if uh, if it's a small palette like this and there's only two or three colors that I don't, I'm not impressed with, then that's fine. I also picked up a NYX Butter Lipstick. This is a, a formula I have yet to try. So we have basically an impromptu two-person football game going on out there. Basically, they're tossing the ball, but they're yelling at each other and they're calling out football terms. It's kind of cute. Anyway, I appreciate the fact that companies like to um, make sure that uh, their product is sealed nice and safe. But at the same time, I just wish sometimes, you know, they remember that we want to get them open too. Anyway, this is in the color Ripe Berry. Like I said, I've never tried this particular formula before. That feels nice. That's a beautiful color. It's a little bit translucent. So we'll have to see how it does on the lips when I use it. Looking forward to playing with that. Looking forward to playing with all my stuff. And of course they sent with this particular package another uh, bottle of the Beauty Blender Cleaner. Three more to go, guys. This is from Glistening Beauty. I saw this uh, palette this was purely an impulse fly, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I'm so easy to make happy. I really am. Sorry about that. Um, this is the Osrian, Os, Osrian, Osrian palette from Glistening Beauty. Like I said, I saw it and I just went, that is a pretty palette. Um, my goal for 2019 is to focus more on indie brands. Uh, so I want to purchase more indie brand stuff. I don't have a problem buying NYX and the others, but I just, you know, I want to, I want to put a highlight on other tough. It's a sturdy cardboard palette. Like a lot of them are. It has a nice plastic protector. It has a mirror and here's our colors really bright, right up Dommy. I'm not going to do them all. Let's see. Let's do this lime green sassy. Let's do this yellow electric. Let's do this uh, pale blue breezy, and let's do this uh, this uh, green, shimmery green emerald, and let's do this orange pumpkin spice. Let's see how these on the finger they look great. Oh, oh, that one's pretty. Okay, so that has some decent pigment for an arm that has absolutely no um, eyeshadow primer on it. That's pretty good. Okay, I am looking forward to playing with that. That's beautiful. So like I said, and this one wasn't very expensive as I recall, although it doesn't look like she included a receipt, which is fine. And I think I paid, through it, paid for it through uh, PayPal. So, let me see. Oh, no, there is a receipt. It's deep in, so I can tell you how much it cost. Lots of little cards. Okay, so Glistening Beauty. I'm getting stuff from Glistening Beauty all over the receipt. I can't even open receipts now. Okay, so that's a $13 palette. And I had a, a coupon for, like, a little over 10% off. So... 10 15 percent so i got the total the total for me was less than 14 but yes yes 13 dollars for that palette that kind of pigmentation i'm here for it i'm looking at you glistening beauty yeah i am we're gonna see uh how you go next i have my second um shop hush box now, I'm kind of puzzled about this one. For one, it doesn't feel as heavy as it should. And for two, uh, the only other order I can think of is supposedly still packaging. So, don't know. Oh, it only includes one of the items. That's why. Okay, so that makes sense. So, this is a multi-satin sleep scarf. I have a... Um, 
I have a cap right now. I'm not sure how I feel about the cap. So I'm trying different things for uh, maintaining my curls and reducing my frizz. So far I'm having trouble with reducing the frizz part of things. And um, this only came in two colors. Wow. That's big. Okay. That's huge. I'm looking forward to trying that. So I'm going to give this a try as an alternative to the cap. Uh, the cap I'm having a few issues with. It's um, it's a little hard to put on and make sure all my hair is in it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm trying different options. Last we have from e.l.f. Uh, this is something that I've been wanting to try. It's an older palette. I've been wanting to try it for a while. And they kept talking to me about my points expiring. Well, it turns out I couldn't use my points to get money off, which is what I was hoping for. But that's okay. This was like a $14 palette. Um, it kind of... People were kind of surprised by it when they first saw it because it was kind of out of Elf's uh, usual uh, palettes and stuff like that. And um, But I'm willing to, you know, I wanted to give it a shot. And that is the Opposites Attract palette. So I know there was a few things about it on YouTube. I actually didn't pay attention to too many... Uh, of the reviews. Okay, I had to do a brief pause while my husband came in and say hello and all that stuff. So this is the uh, Elf Opposite Attract palette. Uh, people have talked about it. Um, it's a larger palette. And uh, again, I'm just going to pick a few things. So let's try this shimmery brown called Cleaver. This shimmery purple called Chill. This matte green called Wise, um, this sort of orange matte called Cheeky, and this sort of coppery shimmer called Bold. Let's take a look at these. Okay, I'm not mad at it. That has some decent pigmentation too. That's really nice. This was out of stock for the longest time, and when it came back in stock, that's one of the reasons why I purchased this this past month, is because it had been out of stock for a very long time when it came back, and I was like, I'm getting that. Uh, no, I shouldn't, but I'm getting that. So this was $14, and so that's it. That's my birthday haul. Um, thank you, Hazel, for sending me my beautiful gift. I've got tons of stuff to play with so I can report back later. I'm going to take this out of here. It is the end, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I don't have to be pretty anymore. I've got wax. Time to eat some birthday cake, right? I hope you brought your cupcake. Mmm. Well, let's go through the ending of what I normally do and get all of that out of the way. And then I will go ahead and make a mess of my face. So, I hope you like what you've seen, and that if you're not subscribed, that you will subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload again. If you are part of the notification squad, you may want to check your bell, just in case it got unrung in the last time you um, got a notification. I am also hearing that there are people being unsubscribed unexpectedly, so I want to make sure to check your subscriptions and that you're subscribed to everything you want to be subscribed to. If you do not subscribe, that's okay. I understand I'm not everybody's cup of tea. This is not one of my normal videos. I've done a couple of unboxings. We are not going to see a lot of that in the future except for the beauty boxes that I'm subscribed to. Primarily because right now we just can't afford it. We're getting ready for the holidays and that's going to cost us a ton of money. And we had a recent job change that's affecting the finances. So in the future, there will not be a whole lot of new stuff unless it comes in one of my subscription boxes. But whether you subscribe or not, we do hope we see you again. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Okay, it's kind of calmed down just a little bit. It's still really good. Mm. That white chocolate mocha. It's a strong tea, but it's not a strong takeover tea. So that's a nice, nice, nice little combination there with all that. All right, so here we go. I know y'all have been waiting for me to smash my face in this. 
I won't do that much. But I will take a big bite because it's my birthday. I'm, I'm, I'm losing candy bits everywhere. They're going all over the table and the floor. This is going to be fun. All right, so here we go. I'm going to make a spectacle of myself and take a big bite out of this. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm going to get it on my nose. I already know I'm going to get it on my nose. Because <laughs> look at the frosting. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm just looking at it going... I'm going to have to unhinge my jaw. Ah! 